Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrew. Welcome on back to Transport Fever 2. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day, and oh boy, well, um, we are back uh, after how long? Oh, two and a half months. Uh, yeah, um, not intentional, but that's because I took a hiatus for that two and a half months. I did kind of start a Prison Architect series as well, but it really didn't start off at that much because it only has one episode released up till this point. But if you guys have been keeping track with the channel or at least on Discord or Twitter, you will be pleased to know that um, starting this week, this the week that this video goes out, new videos are rolling out for both Prison Architect, Transport Fever, and a new City Skyline series. So if you guys want to keep track of all those series that are coming out, head over to Discord and head over to Twitter. Go ahead and follow me over there. On Discord, just go and join our server and make sure you are, um, you go and click the option to get the viewer role, uh, meaning that you'll be notified whenever a YouTube video gets published. That or make sure you take a look down in the description, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell, uh, I, uh, bell icon to receive notifications. Now, oh my goodness, there has been a lot that I've been doing. Uh, I have been testing this save for the past couple of minutes now. Well more like the past hour or so and also just recognize that I, we got a new vehicle type i will take care of that later because i can implement that to our new uh, to our tram lines which to be fair i want to go and implement some new stuff um not just implementing new models or replacing buses such as in like this one that's passing by us right now that looks decrepit um, but I want to go ahead and continue working on our train line that's going to be heading towards Wood Green. Now, this train line right here that we are looking at over, uh, that looks, overlooks the city of Emsworth is going to be a train line that connects over to Wood Green and I think two other cities that are on this map. Let's actually go take a look here. So we got Rugby that is on the way to Wood Green, which we already have a station built over there. I do have a plan for how I'm going to get the trackway from Rugby over to Wood Green. I kind of have an idea about where I want the station to be at in Wood Green. I know I discussed this in the last episode, if you guys remember it, that is. Um, but I did go ahead and look through and determine where is a good spot. The final station would be Hale which is right over here. And I did go ahead and check the pronunciation. Hale is actually the correct pronunciation of this city. Um, so this will be the final station of the, um, of the Woodstock to Hale line. Now, Hale's kind of like out in the middle of nowhere. It's surrounded by a good amount of industries, but it's not in good accessibility to cities. Like for instance, Chard is over here, but it's not necessarily within close proximity to Hale. Um, that is kind of like a decent trek when it comes to a bus service, but it's also, t in my opinion, it is uh, too short, no, not too short, but too long of a service to have a dedicated train line for. Um, just because I think that's a little bit out of the way, in all honesty. So I might just leave chat, uh, charred for now and come back to it at a later time. Now, one city that has caught my eye is Dart Dartmouth. Uh, this city right here that's kind of like over at the edge of this peninsula. Now, we could connect it to Rugby. I don't have any problems with that, but that means that it's going to... Uh, put more tr congestion onto the line that's heading over to Woodstock and Emsworth. I don't really want to do that. I am already like comfortable enough having one train line that's going into Woodstock that's coming from Rugby and Wood Green, but I don't want to have two that's coming uh, out of Rugby. But let me go ahead and show you guys a couple of things. One thing that I have done since the last episode is I have been working on signaling 
uh, primarily on our main passenger lines. Now, if you take a look here, uh, to the keen eye, you'll be able to tell the differences. But to those that do not, let me go ahead and point them out for you. I decided to replace all the signal work on this main line. Now, there's only this stretch of track right here between Woodstock and Wilscombe that actually does not have any signals. That's Now, that's kind of on purpose, as I kind of want this area to be a little bit of a spacer for the different trains. Now, Woodstock, I did go ahead and mess around with a little bit since the last episode, so let's go and take a look here. Woodstock has been changed up a bit. Um, previously, these two sets of tracks would come over to this main passenger line. Now, I did this so that way I can separate passenger and freight services at this station. Now, this station does have a passenger terminal right here, but it's not a passenger terminal going in the direction of Wivelscombe. It's going in the direction of Thetford, which is right across the water here. Now, I, I can understand where some people are going to be going like, well, it doesn't make sense to not have it connected to this line right here. And to be fair, you are right. It doesn't make sense for it to be, not be connected to the passenger service. But at the same time, I don't want to have too much traffic in this area. This is already going to be a busy enough area because once when we go ahead and get uh, a lot more demand for the different cargo types and more passengers that are coming through Woodstock, we're going to be getting a lot more higher traffic and more consistent train traffic specifically speaking that is coming in and out of this area and i kind of want to make sure that we are not overburdening our signal area or our actual station um, now approaching woodstock from the direction of thetford and ragby uh, we got this section right here this is kind of like a six track state uh, six track section that is going into the station now, this was built on purpose, and I don't have plans to change this at any time in the near future. Uh, so, speaking regarding this, I put up signals as be uh, in the best places that I thought was most optimal. Now, I didn't put signals on this side of this inner, um, railroad crossing, mostly because of the fact that I don't want them backing up into the station here or at least creating a backlog into the station. I could go ahead and put a couple signals right here, but I think I'll leave that alone for now. Now, uh, the signal layout that is in the area of Ragby and the Thetford area, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty simple. I don't really have anything special going on here, except for over here at the depot. The depot for Thetford I kind of have it set up so that way it's ex it's able to access both of these lines right here. It's able to access the line that's dedicated for Woodstock and um, uh, Darwin, and it's also able to access the line that's heading over to Biggleswade. Uh, so that's not too big of a deal, but it is something to keep in mind. So like this is like a major like uh, intersection right here for uh, the different trains that we got going through this area. Now, during this time, I actually have been paying down our, low, uh, our loan, slowly but surely, and I will be doing this over the course of the next couple of episodes. I don't want to pay it off all at once, mostly because, one, it's going to be very impractical for me to do that, uh, because I will be wasting time in-game just to go and pay off a loan that most likely I'm going to have to take the money out for in, again in the future anyway. Because right now, I want to focus on creating a profit. Um, how are we going to do that? Well, that is going to happen, simply speaking, by optimizing our lines. Now, I don't think I want to optimize the lines in this episode. I want to finish constructing the line that's heading over to Wood Green. And I think that we'll get started on that right now. And Jesus Christ, I I've been rambling on for the past 10 minutes. Oh boy. Uh, let's go ahead and actually get started, shall we? So...
Now, that is a short distance for a double tracked area, but I have a feeling that's going to be very useful for us. I don't necessarily want it to be a large stretch of track that is going to be dedicated for either side. Granted, this is only a small section and it does pass through a passenger station, which when the cargo train is stopped here, it's going to wait until the passenger station has cleared out first before it proceeds forward. Now, unless a passenger train is waiting right here, the cargo train is going to go ahead and just go right through. If a passenger train is waiting on here, though, it's going to take priority for the passenger train, most likely, because the passenger train, of course, is the priority on this main line. Or it's just going to go and base it off of who got there first. Either way, the AI will figure it out. Um, the train on this line, I do have plans to upgrade that in the future. I just don't know when or if I'll upgrade it. Um, and I do kind of have to put in a connection for a depot. Ooh, and I just remembered. Yeah, there is no depot over here. So I might want to go and get a track coming out on this side because that's going to be very useful for us okay and then i'll just go and get a depot over here okay and that's going to be the rugby train depot that's going to only service our cargo station that's not going to service uh the passenger line the passenger line is going to get serviced by this uh, train depot in Emsworth. Um, as far as... Uh, as far as this line is concerned, there is no train depot on this line, which I kind of regret now. There should be a train depot on this line. I don't know why there isn't. Uh, I think I might have just deleted it for some unknown reason that I can't exactly remember why. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'll ignore that for the time being. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got that pretty much connected. And I need to go and get wood green connected over to hail now. Now, I think this will be the last bit of that. So I think that I only need a one track station. Uh, we'll go ahead and go with a standard passenger track. I don't necessarily need it to be bigger than that. I was thinking about using a terminal, but a one-track terminal station kind of looks a little bit weird. Uh, plus, just to be on the safe side, I am going to have a depot on this end of the line as well. Uh, so we'll leave that be for the time being.
Okay, that's per that's fine, I guess. Um, oh my goodness gracious, that's a that's a weird kink inside a line right there because of the incline that we got. Oh boy. Um, I could have just done a couple different other things to go and avoid that, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So let's go and get the uh, signals placed down. Uh, because there is a good amount of signal work that needs to be done. And uh, while I'm doing this, I might as well go ahead and end off the video. We have been actually recording for quite some time. And uh, just to let you guys know, this series is going to be coming back as a weekly series. So if you guys do want to see more of this, then definitely hit the like button. And uh, make sure you go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, we are going to make sure that content is going to be more consistent now or at least i will be making sure of that as there is a little bit of some work to be done as well i've also been updating the content of uh the actual description of videos the description of videos has not actually been updated in some time and with the fact that i rebranded just a little while ago it kind of puts the content out of date um, especially my older videos, which, by the way, I watched a couple of them. They are cringe. Uh, please do not watch them. <laughs> um, there is a couple that I would recommend watching, but then again, it's cringe. So I'm like, uh, do I really want to recommend it? Not really. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, then yeah, as I said, leave a like and comment down below. Uh, and also, if you guys had any suggestion for mods, then definitely give me a shout out in the comments and uh, leave me a link to the Steam Store page. It would definitely, or the, not Steam Store, but Steam Workshop page uh, for a mod that you would like me to add. Now bear in mind, I do have a good collection of mods right now. The collection of the said mod list is in the description if you guys are curious. Uh, but with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will check you guys for the next uh, stream, uh, next video. Ciao for now.